I mean, as I was saying before, and I don't know whether you came in and heard this, in the Japanese family, the male is the dominant figure. And the woman takes care of the family and the home and the budget, and there's great responsibility to it. I, I mean, I read tons of articles that said, no, no, an anime is not, uh, you know, just male dominant, but there are dominant female figures because they take care of the family and they take care of the budget. Well, we here in Western civilization have the feeling and, and this is now being shared in Japanese uh, culture also, that the woman is now more part of society. We have careers, we have goals, we have dreams. And it's not just to keep the family in place, which is still a very important part of our lives. But we have more than that. And I think that's what we need to address and come together and, and kind of meet in the middle. Yes. Um, I'll try to make this brief, but there was a book by Scott McCloud called Understanding Comics, where he mentioned. I'm, I'm sorry, can you just speak up so I can um, Scott McCloud, M-C-L-A, no, O-U-B, I think, um, E O U B things, and it, in the very beginning he talks about the objectification of the human face in animation, and the more objectified it is, the less realistic the animation or the comic book art, the more psychologically you actually can identify. It's like writing with the character. And I find that when I have watched anime, the thing that had since the 60s, that really um, got to me was that I think that the males have co-opted a lot of the female care characteristics. Mm -hmm. So I identify with her own tension. I identify with, I don't know, the can't remember the main character of Miyazaki, although Miyazaki is very good at having normal looking, real looking girls and boys, or men and women in his, his animation. But um, as a genre, I feel that I, I get, you know, um, You identify a lot with the male and, characters. Yeah, power, feelings of, of um, not, what's the word, power? Um, but from the male characters. Empowered. I feel empowered from the male characters because of the kind of genre it is. But also mm -hmm. as a, a woman fan of anime <laughs> and comics. Um, well, here I'm challenging yeah. you. Uh -huh. Wouldn't it be great if there were female heroines that you could identify with and feel empowered from? Well, I think there's, like I said, with the comic book industry in America, there's more male fans because women have to take that step over the border. and so we'd feel a little like outside. And you're right, I think that would be great. I, I do appreciate though, that in this genre, the, the male characters are so, you know, they, they seem to be more- Homogenous? Um, homog yeah, there's more going on with them no. than in some- Androgynous. Androgynous, yeah, I mean, there's a little bit of a freer reign of expression for I, male I, I characters. Like and it would be nice if that extended to the Yes, yeah. wouldn't it? Oh, I, I, I can speak to that from a male point of view because I never, I never see, I never see men that look like me. If I do, they're the brutes. Yeah. Yeah. They're all, the strong men. All strength, men. no brains. Mm -hmm. All strength, and, no brains. And no brains. There's nobody I can identify. I don't, I don't know if I would pretty boy. Right, right, exactly. Exactly, so, exactly, yes. Um, going to the whole heroin thing, there is one thing I would like to see, and that is a strong female character who doesn't end up being the sacrificial lamb. Yes. A lot of situations where women are heroic, but a lot of the time it's just that they can sacrifice themselves for the benefit of the people, for the benefit of everyone. That's an interesting thing I've also noticed, the fact that when women are the hero, and, you know, if they're fantastic, evolution of women now in our, our generation, well, my generation at least, that uh, we were brought up to be victims. Uh, our prototype was Cinderella. Yeah. 
One day my prince will come. And so our whole lives were spent trying to find the man. If we didn't have a man, then, you know, what was life about? Um, if we didn't, if we didn't become uh, all Donna Reeds, then you know we, we couldn't find perfection in our lives, and uh, so we are evolving now, and uh, we're saying no, we don't have to have we don't have to have certain things in our lives in order to be human beings who feel successful and empowered, and so. What we're looking at now also in our relationships is being less victimized and taking control of our relationships and not saying, oh, poor me, there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, fate is so terrible. Well, another thing I want is someone who can make decisions, be it on who she wants to date. Oh, no, so she and Knight are both gorgeous and they both love me dearly. Whatever do I do? Well, that's that's exactly what I'm talking about. Yes. Yeah, I got another three partner. That's not bad. Um, first one is you've got seven minutes left. Thank you. Um, second part is for your list. Um, I'd like somebody who's out of bloody college. Yeah. Not <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everyone's going to school. They're in their cute little cuckoos. They're they're running around, or they're somebody's secretary. Mm -hmm. um, what would actually be interesting is somebody that's in between jobs, because that's where I'm at. I just moved to Denver and. Uh, there's nothing else that shows strength as trying to muddle your way through this stupid society and through countless interviews and everything. I mean, that would so, actually, that might even be more effective in Japan because it's like almost impossible to find a job if you're in like mm -hmm. yeah. Listen, it works here. I can't, I, I mean, I'm very fortunate. I have always made a living uh, either on camera or in the voice business or directing. Uh, but not everybody is there. And once you hit 40, the jobs start disappearing. Wow. They truly do. And there's one other thing. There are, for every 50 men, male characters, there are two female characters. You know, another thing that bugs me is the fact that that's even around in short Because <coughs> think about it, Cart Cap or Sakura? There's her, her friend, some other minor characters, like the one who hooks up with their pedophile mm -hmm. elementary teacher, Rika. Mm -hmm. And, hey, it's creepy. It it really is that. I know. Does anybody else have any questions or anything they want to say? Yes. Well, uh, you mentioned that the male characters are always perfect, too. Did anyone see Paprika? Yeah. 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 Okay. I just love the end. Um, resolution of the relationship between the genius programmer and the doctor who was so perfect in her own way that everybody was after her and he was the big guy. It's, it's a great turnaround. Now again, if they could present a woman in that kind of a part. So here's yeah. what we can do. I mean, we can change the world of anime. We're totally in love with it. We see the deep the deep messages, the, the, it's almost like going to a, a church or a temple where we get to ask the deep, profound questions that are very, very healing to our souls and to our consciousness. Well, I don't so, know that being the inverse is qualified to absolve me of my sins. You're absolved. Do you have a nice little sticker? Um, I'll, I'll look for one <laughs> afterwards.